Okay, so the much asked for farm tour. I already did the shop tour. And now I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the buildings that we have on the farm site that we store all of our equipment in. So all of this is cold storage. Nothing is heated. Have electricity, we have these nice bright lights out here. So just gonna give you a quick rundown of what we've got. This is our newest shed. We built this, my dad, my dad built this. I did not, um, had it built three, four years ago. I'm losing track of time, but it is our biggest storage building. Usually the combine is in here as well. So there's usually not this much space. The combine is over in the shop right now getting worked on. So yeah, let's go look at some stuff. All right, when we come in, we've got the bulldozer and the eight row planter that we share with the neighbors, water tank, and then onto the fun stuff. Over here in this corner, we have one of the 4020s and the creeper van that we used to drive around when we were kids. I think all of the tractors except the 7230 are in here right now. So first off, we've got all of the green. We've got the 9560, the 8310, my personal favorite, the 8420. I think we all know at this point that this is my baby. <sighs> But I am really sad because the old 8420 isn't gonna be my baby much longer because my dad got a new to us tractor, the 8295, that I will be planting beans with this spring. So I'm gonna miss my 8420. And that's all of the deer tractors in here. We do actually have an old cat tractor. As you can see, my dad really likes to play Tetris. Like, I think I'm the only person who can squeeze through there. So here we've got the 75C, otherwise known as the big yellow bee. And she is a bee. Oh, I lied. The 9320 is crammed back here in the corner. She's our other track tractor, deer track tractor. When I say that my dad really cram stuff in here. I mean, the man crams stuff in here. Like my finger barely fits through here. Here we've got one of the turbo tails, the sprayer. We've got this huge head and this is how tight we cram stuff in here. I think it's just old habits die hard. We'll crawl under the sprayer to get to this stuff over here. We've got two sunflower cultivators here that we use in the spring mainly. We don't usually, or we haven't used these the past couple years for any fall tillage. Another turbo tail. Man, my dad is making it really difficult to get through here. My finger doesn't even fit through that one. The man is a genius at Tractor Tetris. Seriously. If you can get through here, you gotta actually crawl under things to get out of the back part. Okay. So then we've got the inline ripper. Basically this is just full of tillage materials materials, tillage tools. You've got the cart, auger cart, and then the dump truck. And that's it for this shed. So in this shed, we've got our John Deere bean planter. Right now we've got one of the grain trucks. Well, so I, with the grain trailer already hooked on, we've got the backhoe, the bush hog mower, the seed tender, which is what we put all of our bean seed into, and then we use it to load into the bean planter. And then my dad's corn planter, also a John Deere, of course. And then like any farm ever, we've got a lot of just stuff 
you know, just in case we might ever need anything. Um, this stuff piled up against the walls. So, you know, the tires, just your average American, not just American, I'm sure, just your average farm anywhere in the entire world. We've got our pile of scrap metal here, one pile. So yeah, that's this building. It's definitely a lot smaller than the new building that my dad just had built. This building and the other storage building that are at the farm were built when it was my great uncle and maybe when my dad had started farming with him too. I'm not really quite sure how old these buildings are. All right, next shed. <laughs> right now, it looks like a wood shop. <laughs> we just finished splitting all this wood the other day and we didn't have room to stack it all, but the weather was getting kind of nasty. So we just piled it inside for the moment. So in here we have the new to us anhydrous toolbar that my dad just got. We put anhydrous down every, we put it down in the spring for nitrogen for the corn. We've got the spray trailer. We mix most, of, I don't do the mixing, but they mix pretty much all of our chemicals, like on our farm, trailer, got the corn head, the bean head, the other 4020, because you can never have too many 4020s. It's a classic. And then 7230, right now my dad's pickup is in here. The old international, it's been a while since we've moved that. And then you can see back there in the corner, we have the old KW from a while back. Actually, I'll show you how far back. It's from so far back that it still has Aikman and Holbert Farms on it. Aikman was my great uncle who we, um, who my dad got the farm off of. Worked with him for a lot of years. So for a while there, it went from Aikman Farms to Aikman and Holbert. And now that my uncle is retired and just living the good life. We got just Holbert Farms. I do really love that logo though. It just reminds me of the good old days because that's what I remember from pretty much my whole childhood was Aikman and Holbert Farms. I spent a lot of time with my great uncle. He is a really freaking awesome guy. So I built a heck of a farm up and my dad just kept building it. So that is this shed. Again, smaller than the new one, but still holds a pretty decent amount of stuff. So in here, this is the shop that my dad and Mike, my uncle, great uncle used when I was a kid. We've got the workbench here, the old lockers, the old desk that they used to use. We still use this a lot for a lot of different things. The old desk, the old chalkboard. When we used to walk beans for my dad when we were kids we would write all of our hours up on the board because my dad would pay us he wanted us to learn the value of a good day's work and that's how he did it actually my brother's hours are still on there that's been quite a few years ago so now this is where we store the trucks when it's winter or pretty much any time except for spring got the other truck this is the, the main door. It's definitely a lot smaller than the door we've got at the new shop. We use all of this for storage. So we've got a bunch of different planter parts here. And then this part of the building is where we store all of the corn seed. When we get it in, we'll start getting that in soon. And then in the back, there used to be a wall here. We knocked that out. So actually we still have some some of the pro boxes. We've got the four wheelers with the sprayers on the back, but this is where we store all of our boxes of beans, of soybeans, <laughs> no other kind of beans. And then, you know, different tires that we like exchange out, store some of the chemicals out here. The forklift, the service truck. And then this is just, a bunch of random stuff. We've got random pieces of wood here, pallets, tires, tiling stuff, all the tarps. 
This is all some more stuff for tiling, some spare parts for the combine, for the bean head. <laughs> Our old childhood dough cart. A lot of good times had on that. And then just some, you know, random stuff. Some of this stuff has been on the walls since way before my dad came along or started working. Not, it's not as old as he is. But yeah, this is the old shop and I will show you the old shop office that my dad used for so long. And this is why he deserves the nicest office in the world. He deserves every bit of his new shop and office. This is it. It's a closet with no windows. We still have some stuff in here like Holbert Farms fertilizer. This binder says 1998. But yeah, my dad spent a lot of hours in here. This is why he wanted windows so badly because he just sat in a dark closet. But yeah, that is Holbert Farms. 95% of my dad's equipment is stored and anything is stored right here on farm. We've got a few pieces that he stores a couple other places just to be out of the way because we only use them a little bit each year. But this is it. The old shop where it all started. So let me know what you guys wanna see a tour of next because shop sheds pretty much cover the equipment with the sheds, so. Let me know what you want to see. So sorry for being awkward yet again.